I'm Jasmine and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys three different pathways that you can take to become a pharmacist right out of high school. I've been getting a lot of questions about what do I do to become a pharmacist? How do I do it? I'm a high school help. What do I do? So this is going to give you a few tips to make sure that you're able to become a pharmacist right after high school. Okay, so I know I've been gone for three months, but I'm back and I got a new camera, a new microphone, so my filming equipment is top notch now. Also, just a disclaimer, I know that this plant is hitting me in my head for most of the video, so please ignore it. Just ignore it. Act like it's not hitting me in the head. <laughs> So with that, there are three pathways that you can take to become a pharmacist right out of high school. And I'm going to explain each one and explain some pros and cons to each one. So the first option is to enter directly into a six year program. So the program is already designed for you to become a pharmacist within six years. And there are a few universities that offer that. The second option is to take two years of your prerequisite courses at any college of your choosing and then enter directly into a four year pharmacy program. And then the last option is the longest option, but the option that I chose and that's to do a four year bachelor's degree program at any college or university and then enter into a four year pharmacy program. So the first way um, to become a pharmacist right after high school is you can enter into a program called a six year program. And I'm gonna list on the screen some of the pharmacy schools that you can attend um, that have the six year program. But essentially you would apply right after high school as if you were going to a college or a university. And when you apply, they have a six year program where you would take two years of classes and then matriculate into a four year pharmacy program without actually applying again to pharmacy school. Um, so with these programs, there are only a few that are available in the country, well in the United States that is. And the six year program is one of the fastest ways that you can become a pharmacist and obtain your doctor of pharmacy degree. Number one, if you enter into a six year program, you can't necessarily change your mind. So for example, you can't change your major or, I mean you can but it's going to be a little bit less flexible than if you were to choose some of the other options. Along with that, you really don't have the option to explore other career paths beyond pharmacy if you choose a six year program. So it's kind of like you're signing up to become a pharmacist right after high school. So this option would be best for people who know exactly what they wanna do when they graduate and know exactly that they wanna be a pharmacist. In terms of the pros, the obvious pro is that you can become a pharmacist in six years versus some of the other options that could take a little bit longer. So it's one of the fastest tracks to become a pharmacist. Okay, so the second way for you to become a pharmacist right out of high school in the United States is you can enter into a two-year program to take your prerequisite classes and then apply to a four-year pharmacy school. So this is one of the shorter ways, but it's also one of the most flexible ways that you can do this. So with this, you would apply to a regular college and take two years of prerequisite courses. So some of these courses are like English, math, um, literature, different things like that, just to make sure that you have your prerequisite courses. Um, and with this option for the two plus four, basically you would take two years of classes and you could do some of those courses at a community college to save some money, um, but you could do it at a major university or college. So with this, after the two years, you would be applying to pharmacy school while you're in your undergraduate program, taking your prerequisite classes. And with this, you do wanna make sure that the prerequisite courses that you're taking within those two years aligns with the pharmacy school that you want to attend. So for example, if you wanna to go to one particular school, let's call it Butterfly University. <laughs> if you wanna attend Butterfly University for pharmacy school, then you will have to make sure that the classes that Butterfly University wants you to take are the classes that you're taking in your prerequisite courses. So if Butterfly University wants to make sure that you take an art class before you go to pharmacy school, you need to make sure that you take that art class within those two years before you apply to the program. So with the two plus four option where you take two years of prerequisite courses at any college and then apply to a four year pharmacy program at a pharmacy college, um, some of the pros for this are that you can go to any college for your prerequisite courses. So if you go to any college or university, like I said before, you can do a community college and save you some money. The second option is that you do have the ability to have some career exploration. So within those years, you can take classes that aren't necessarily related to pharmacy. Um, you can take other courses to see exactly what you wanna do. So it does give you the option to potentially do some career flexibility and see if pharmacy exa is exactly what you wanna do. So some of the cons for doing the two plus four option where you take two years of classes and then enter into a four year pharmacy program. 
So the first one is that you could potentially be a less competitive applicant for a top pharmacy program. So this option means that you don't actually get a bachelor's degree before entering pharmacy school. Um, and pharmacy is becoming increasing, increasingly more competitive. So in order to get into a great school, you may want to do um, another option because a two year program doesn't give you an actual degree. Another con would be that you would be applying for a pharmacy program while you're taking prerequisite courses. So within those two years, you're taking your classes, but around the one year mark, you will have to start applying for four year pharmacy programs, which means maybe taking the entrance exam, um, submitting applications, doing interviews. So doing all those things while you're taking your prerequisite courses, and that can be kind of hectic. So that's another con of doing the two plus four year option. Okay, so the last option to become a pharmacist right out of high school is a more traditional route, and that is you would do four years at a college or a university, obtain a bachelor's degree, and then apply and go to four years of pharmacy school. So this is the option that I did. Um, so for my journey, I did four years of undergraduate where I studied biology, and you don't necessarily have to study a science, you just have to take the prerequisite courses while you're doing your four years and then I apply for a pharmacy school and now I'm in four years of pharmacy school. So all in all I'm doing eight years of college versus the other two options that require you to do six years. Um, so with this option you do four years of classes and you can major in anything like I said before. A lot of people ask questions about do I have to major in biology? Do I have to major in pre-pharmacy? And you don't have to. The only thing is if you major in a science or if you major in pre-pharmacy, it's a little bit easier to make sure that you take the classes that you need. So if you do major in something like, let's say, I minored in history. So if you major in history, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult for you to get all of your history requirements and also get all the requirements that a pharmacy school may want you to have. So with that, with the four-year program, there are some pros and cons. So four years of college and then four years of pharmacy. So um, the first pro is that you are a very competitive applicant for pharmacy programs. So some of the top pharmacy schools in the United States want you, or they don't necessarily require that you have a four-year program, but I know, for example, at my school, nearly almost everyone has a four-year degree before entering pharmacy school. So it's not to say that you won't get accepted into a top pharmacy program if you don't have a four-year degree, but it does give you somewhat of an edge um, in comparison to your competition who may not have that four-year degree. So another pro to doing four years of college and then four years of pharmacy school is career flexibility. So you do have the option to major in whatever you want to in your four year program as long as you take those classes that are required by pharmacy schools. And with that, you can major in anything and you can explore different careers within that four years. So if you're not quite sure that you want to do pharmacy, you kind of think that you want to, but you really don't know, this is a great option for you to get a degree, see if pharmacy is really for you, and also to become a competitive applicant for pharmacy programs. And the last thing, one of the main reasons why I went to a four-year program is you literally get the college experience while preparing for your ultimate career goals. So I absolutely love college. I loved undergrad. Like I would do it again if I could. And honestly, I wouldn't trade that experience for anything. So doing a four-year program or a four-year degree before pharmacy school gives you the option to have some fun before going right into pharmacy school. So of course, there are some cons to doing four years at a college or university and then going into a four-year pharmacy program. So the first con is pretty obvious, but the amount of time. So I added on two extra years to my training that I don't necessarily have to have, but having a four-year degree does add more time onto your ultimate goals. And honestly, as a young person, to me, it's not that big of a deal, but to some non-traditional students or to people who may have kids or a family, doing that extra two years may not be an option for you. So the first con is the amount of time that you have to spend getting your four-year degree. And of course, the next con is if you're not on scholarship for your four-year degree program before entering into a pharmacy program, um, loans. <laughs> so in the United States, college is not free. You do have to take out student loans if you don't have scholarships or the financial means to pay for it yourself. So if you do the four years program before entering into a pharmacy school, you gotta pay for it, so loans. Of course, if you guys are interested, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to know more about me, my lifestyle in pharmacy, and to get a dose of Jasmine. Thanks for watching, y'all.